What do I do with this, mother? Locate Abu Mimi Kingdom, where His Royal Majesty is the Abalanze, reigns as the king. There is a man named Omesu who lives in the palace. He is the only sorcerer that is still left in Abu Mimi. Give him this letter. He will know what to do. Do not leave Abu Mimi until Omesu tells you to leave. <clears throat> Mother, why would you send me to a sorcerer? <laughs> Omesu of Abu Mimi is surely a man but has become more than a man. Once he get this letter from you, he will prove to you that it's not just a sorcerer. Do not be in a hurry to leave Abba Mimi. Umesu is going to expose you to great things of life. Hmm? Mm -hmm. How do I locate this Abba Mimi? As you go, Keep moving right. Keep moving right. There are forces that will manifest to force you move left. Always remember that left is destruction. Keep moving right. You will surely find yourself in a bombing. I humble myself before beautiful maidens walking in the bush. But why would you maidens block the road? We are the maidens of our The road you are about to follow 
place where our great Wangen is trained, where the maidens of this kingdom wash their bodies. And it is forbidden for any man to go near that stream today, the last I of the month. Well, I do not plan to step into your stream. I am heading to Abomimi. Well, if you're sure you're traveling to Abomimi, then you must follow this way. There are forces that will manifest to force you move left. Always remember that left is destruction. Keep moving right. You will surely find yourself in a bombing. The road you are pointing to is surely to my left. And I know it will lead to my destruction. Beautiful maidens, you are seeing me for the first time. Why would you want to destroy me? We don't have too much time to spend with you. And we are not going to allow you anywhere near our sacred Wangene stream. So if you must follow this way, you must wait here until tomorrow. Well, I cannot wait till tomorrow because I do not have all the time in the world. My mother told me I must be at Abomimi before noon tomorrow. It is clear to us that you want to dare us. You call those beautiful maidens because you actually felt they were beautiful. But if you will not do as we say, you will remain here. I will treat you like an intruder that you are. Mm. The reason given by Ezra Balanza for his communicating us from Abomimi land to some is good. But to me, the sack is unacceptable. I want us to understand that the battle line has been drawn. And we must do something to force ourselves back to our land. Oh, Sazwa. Are you not planning the impossible? Our sack was ordered by the king. And there is no way we can force ourselves back into the kingdom. We are going to gradually destroy the king. We plan to murder him. And when we murder the king, find ourselves back in our land. This sounds so easy to you, but to me, it is a near impossibility. Have you forgotten, Omisu? It can never be possible for you to destroy the king when Omisu is there. Omisu himself is not a deity. Omisu is not a problem. If Omisu we identify him as a problem. We plan a murder on this. And our chief goes! I'm surprised that you are the one saying this. Have you forgotten who Omesu is? His life is deposited in the hearts of the Omelabo of Abomini. And if you hope to kill the Omesu, you must first kill the Omelabo of Abomini. What are you saying then? Do you mean we remain here and die in a foreign land? Mm. No. We need to settle down and plan. If we rush into any action, we are bound to regret the actions later.
we were making mockery of us. But we danced because we loved the lyrics of the song. So now I ask you, why would you want to make mockery of the maidens of our town? Are you not the one she is talking to? Why create a song to make jest of the maidens of Awato? Why? Are you making jest of us? I'm asking you, are you? Ah! Why did you do that? Why did you push me? I did not push you. Ah. I pushed the bushman. Oh. oh my god. Where is the bushman? What's the meaning of this? Is he a spirit or what? I wonder why beautiful women are always looking for trouble. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, whatever must be done, must be done urgently. Adana is in a very critical condition. And if nothing urgent is done, Honestly, if, it, if nothing serious is done, she may die. Prince Adelibe, please calm down. I want you to understand that Princess Adana will not die. That's what you keep telling me. Yet nothing positive is happening. You are the physician of this palace. And it's your duty to find solution to whatever problem she has. Well, I think you both need to calm down. Calm down and realize that you're talking about my daughter here. It is this same issue that the Minister here was discussing with me before you came in. Your Majesty, I am the Prince and I deserve to know what is happening to my sister. What were you explaining to the King? What I am going to say now must be kept between men. You must not mention this to your sister. I give you my word. I will never mention anything to her. The witches and the wizards that got sacked by the king are responsible for the ailment. They sent an evil spirit that possessed her. That is why she's having the nightmares. But nobody must hear this. I retain you in the palace here because you practice positive sorcery. And now that you have found out that the princess is possessed, by a sort of spirit. What are you doing about it? Your Majesty, that is why I asked us to come down. I want us to understand something. The princess will get better. In fact, she will become very okay soon. Mm, very well. Very well. However, I want the news of the princess's sickness to stay within the walls of this palace. It must never be heard outside the walls of this palace. Your Majesty, I sincerely think that warning is for Prince Odili, but he has said that not me. No, it's not for me. Because I don't discuss palace matters with outsiders. I know exactly what the king wants, and it shall be so. Adana. 
You look troubled. Are you okay? Even in your quarters, I'm still having the same dreams. Is it the witches? You know about them. What do you know? You are the princess of this kingdom. And I want you to understand that a lot of people want you dead. They want you to die because they know that if you die, this kingdom will be thrown into agony. But I want you to leave. I want you to take that decision that you will leave. Choose that you will leave and they will be helpless. Why would they want to kill me? What did I do? Don't worry. This ailment is temporal. You shall be well again. Something tells me that you can solve this problem immediately. But why are you not doing that? Your Majesty, I can solve the problem, but not immediately like you said. The issue here is witchcraft. Witchcraft is being practiced by men and women, but the art itself is older than life. I'm pleading with you, Your Majesty, to allow me to deal with this issue slowly. But Sashua threatened me. He threatened to gradually destroy the kingdom and return home. And are you bothered about that, Your Majesty? Why should you be? You made a noble move when you banished them from this land. Majority of our people are singing your praise. They are happy with what you did, and I sincerely think that should be your concern and not Osazwa and his evil colleagues. But tell me. If money can solve this, and tell me how much money, I'll provide it. Your Majesty, money was never the issue, and money is still not the issue. The issue is witchcraft, and we are very cautious when dealing with witchcraft. One thing I know for sure is that Adana will soon be okay from this ailment. I just want you to allow me, permit me, let me handle this mother. At my pace, Your Majesty. Very well. But I want you to go into her room now and see if there's anything you can do. You never can tell when minimum efforts can yield maximum results. I can stand everything, but not, not negative sorcery. No, I can't stand it. I can't. It is possible you've humbled so many men with your beauty. I acknowledge that, but I must tell you, I am not one of those men. Enenyenwite can never be moved by your beauty. You are in the center of Asampede forest, where I, Asampede, am the goddess of this forest. Let me have the letter you have in your bag or I will terminate your life here in this forest. The only Asampede I know is a fish which is alleged to be of good taste. It is possible you are a fish. I must tell you, I do not like fish. So I beg you, beautiful goddess, grant me access. Are you giving me the letter or do you want me to kill you here in this forest? The letter I have here was written by my mother and it is for Omesu of Abomin. There is no way I can give you that letter. Hmm. I already told you that I'm a goddess. Do you mean to tell me that you're not afraid of a goddess? Different entities have different powers. And what triggers fear in the people of this town may be what another town uses as a tool for their festival. Do not be hostile to a man you do not know. Please leave my way. Or what? I should leave the road or what? Look behind you. Look behind me and say what? Behind you is the man of your dreams. Certainly not me. Leave Enenye to continue on his journey. Okulabia, how did you get here? What are you doing here? 
I know what you had always wanted from Okalabia. And I will give it to you. I came here today just because of you. You know, I've never been led by any man here in this village before. But I can do it for you. Anything for you. <laughs> you... You are removing your immaculate gown just because you are ready to be laid in the bush. On the same forest you called your own forest. Why are you such a terrible disgrace in the cycle of the aboriginal authorities? You! You used me to escape from the hall! Who are you? And why would you use such, such powers on a man like me? There is only one wise thing you must do right now. Leave my path, or I shall live with you. <laughs> do you ever know the person you are talking to? This is Okolabia, the lord of Wizzeri Forest. Now I demand that you get down on your knees and worship me, or else I shall kill you here. <laughs> I now see clearly that the time shall come in the future when I shall need the services of forest authorities like you to achieve positive results. Do not force me to make you the first forest authority I shall cage. <laughs> you, you are standing before me and you are telling me that you can cage me. <laughs> you have drawn the first blood on an innocent man who has done you no wrong. Now we shall know who is the man and who was the man. <laughs> the fact that you defeated Okolabia the way you did shows that you're a mighty man in battle. Readily, I have fallen in love with you and I shall take you to my place. Mm. And what shall we be doing at your place? It's a very wonderful place. A place where all things are possible. I have seen that you're a great man. Follow me to my place and grant me the opportunity of treating you like a great man. <laughs> I ask you, how many men have you seduced before? I have never seduced any man before. But all I know is that many men out there want me, but I resist them all. Follow me to my place and I will treat you special. I thank you for your offer, but I am not interested. Move away. <laughs> that is my name. I am not surprised you know my name in full. You are a goddess like you said. And it is no big deal for a goddess to know the name of a great man like me. But I ask you, why call my name in full? Enene, <sighs> you have stolen my heart. But I must tell you the truth. The man you're going to see in Abo Mimi is a dead man, and I'm sure you're not traveling to see a dead man. Follow me to my place, and I shall introduce you to the mystery of the Lord of Aborigin. I see. Where is your place? Somewhere down there. Ah. Left again. Left is destruction. Right is my way. I will not say it again. Move away. Ah!
I curse you evil powers of the laws of aborigin to depart from this woman. She cannot continue to suffer on the account of what she doesn't know. I command you to leave this woman this minute. I don't know why we are here looking at Tomesu. We can't continue to allow him with this exorcism. I curse you to depart and never return. Don't bother yourselves. I want to clearly understand what Tomesu is up to. You brought the punishment upon yourselves and you must suffer alone. You cannot make an innocent woman to be part of this. I command you to leave. I am doing everything possible to make you whole. They are truncating what we are doing because they don't want you to leave. Make a decision that you must leave. I saw myself in a cage where I was stranded. It was as if it was the end. Someone opened the cage for me. Just as I was about coming out of the cage finally, I was dragged back into the cage. Adana, I can tell you immediately that you are not going to belong in that cage. Very soon it shall happen. You are going to become free permanently. Adana, there is nothing happening to you. There is nothing wrong with you. You are sick. Just like every other person can be sick. Believe me when I say that you shall soon be okay. Do not read unnecessary meaning into this. Just go back and sleep and understand you are surrounded by people that love you. And then you wait a man of Imezi is here to see the wise of Mesu. What makes you think that the wise of Mesu would like to see a pushed man like you? I'm sure he will not be happy if he finds out you turn me back at the gate. I have a letter for him. If your mission is simply to deliver a letter to him, I will advise you, hand me over the letter, let me deliver it myself. Sorry, I cannot give you the letter. I will deliver it myself. And I'm sure it will not cost you anything to let me in. This is Enenyawinte, a man from Imezi. He's here to see uh, the wise of Mason. Can you please help me explain to him that Bushmen do not enter the palace of Ezabalanze of Abomin? Wait, 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 This, this, this man may look like a Bushman quite right. But, 
But there is something about him that I have never seen in another person. Something like what? Call me. No! I am still interrogating the Bushman and you cannot just take him in like that. I am seeing you for the first time today and I have been friendly with you. Why are you treating me like an old enemy? You cannot just enter the palace like that. Hand me over the letter, let me deliver it myself. Mm. Fine. First, I will give you my sword. If you can handle the sword, then you can handle the letter. Not even handle the sword that protects the letter. That means you cannot handle the letter. Please take me. See? I want you. I ask you to let me in. Follow me. I need you to rise and direct me. I am not supposed to ever say that I am confused. But I admit before you this night that I am terribly confused. Too many things are going wrong in this kingdom and I am confused. Absolutely frustrated. And I'm telling you this night that I admit I am nothing without you. I am pleading with you from the deepest part of my heart to make an appearance and direct me. I am so happy that you answered me. Omelabo na bomime. Please. Where did we go wrong? What is the way forward? You need a new face. I don't understand what you mean by I need a new face. You need a new voice. Or you need a new process. I have this feeling that there is something you 
you are trying to tell me. And I want you to tell me what you want me to hear. What do you mean by I need a new process? It shall not be long. I am going to send you help. The help will come freely and must be allowed to operate freely. Always realize that men are bound to make deadly mistakes when they take aboriginal decisions without involving the gods and the ancestors. Wait for the help that I am sending. It has been years since you promised to send me an helper. I have waited and waited and waited for this helper to come, and nothing is happening. As I speak, the princess is sick in this palace. I have done everything humanly possible to get her back on her feet and nothing is working. All eyes are on me to heal her of this strange ailment. If I fail to heal the princess, I will lose respect, I will lose relevance in this kingdom, and this is something I don't want to happen. Where is the helper you promised to send me? I am pleading with you to show yourself, manifest yourself, and show me the way forward. What am I going to do? What must I do to have Princess Adana back on her feet? I am nothing without you. What? What? Yes, who is there? It's me, sir. Amadi. You have a visitor from Imezi. Take him to the compound. Let him wait there. I'm coming to see him there. Okay. Ah, what? Do you want to put me through trouble? Eh? I'm sorry. The message I have for him is urgent. Uh, okay. He said he should ask him. So let's go ask him. Follow me. The witches and the wizards that got sacked by the king are responsible for the ailment. They sent an evil spirit that possessed her. And that's why she's having the nightmares. But nobody must hear this. What can you say is the problem with the princess? I cannot say I know much. But I know that this sickness is not ordinary. Can you explain what you mean by that? I say it's not ordinary because even the princess herself does not even know what is wrong with her. You know, she's always having these nightmares of guns, poison, fire, and swords, and everything that can cause death. And then when she wakes up, she gets worse. I think you and the king should explore other options. Instead of waiting for Omiso, the wise one, because he is actually helpless in this case. I do not want the princess to die. Thanks for your concern. I appreciate it. The one thing I can tell you is that we now know what the problem is. And we're making efforts to solve it. Just be rest assured that my sister will not die from this sickness.
Are you from Amudala? I am not from Amudala, but I know Amudala very well. Why do you ask? There was this woman of Amudala that was once married in this land. Her name was Moku. She was a noble woman. She was disgraced by some highly placed men in this land who heard that she was barren. She left this land in sorrow. And a man like me was unable to do anything to save that great woman, that noble woman that taught our maidens how to live high moral life. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing that same woman. And I want to ask you, are you in any way related with this Moku of Amodala? She is my mother. You are not serious, are you? Yes, I am serious. She sent me to you with this letter that only you should read. Are you confirming to me that Moku of Amudala is still alive? Yes, she's still alive. And she instructed me not to leave the palace in a hurry. She says you will understand better when you read the letter. I'm going to send someone that will pick you to the royal kitchen where you can eat anything you like. I will see you after reading this letter. Thank you. My name is Nwoku. I am sure you will remember Nwoku that was married to Oganigwe. I was forced to leave Abomimi. I was humiliated for nothing. I left in agony and I kept asking God to rise and vindicate me. I met a man of Imezi that married me briefly before he died. That man of Imezi did in a month what Oganigwe was unable to do in years. Still, he called me barren. The man of Imezi got me pregnant, and the bearer of this letter is my son. I am sending him to you because he has some wild powers. He can do wonders with his eyes. Countless number of times I have seen him kill wild animals with his eyes. I don't know if this power is positive or negative. I cannot also say I know the origin of this power. You are the only one I remember that can help. This is why I sent him to you. Take him as a son and guide him. He is humble and ever ready to learn. Please don't turn me down. Why should I turn you down when it is very clear to me that the help I have been asking for is finally here? <laughs> I cannot turn you down. 
<laughs> this is nice. This is surely the best letter I have read in all my life. Can you tell me all the things you can do with your eyes? This is unbelievable. How did you do that? I think it is the power of imagination. I imagine anything and it happens just like that. I listened to you when you said your mom told you not to be in a hurry to leave this land. But I want to ask you on your own. How long do you intend to stay in this kingdom? The plot against this land is elaborate and deadly. I intend to stay here until the evil powers are completely tamed. Did your mother tell you that I know exactly what you know? I am sure I know something that many do not understand. The truth is, I do not even know what it is. And so, I want you to teach me. Teach me this thing that I know and teach me how I can make it better for human race. The totality of Mopo's humility is deposited in you. I can see it clearly that you have a huge part to play in the future of this kingdom. Come with me. His name is Enenyewete Obonyuako. He is a man from Imezi. But I'm pleading with you not to judge him from his background. Let us judge him based on what he can do himself. Bushman, what can you do? Your Highness, this man here has come to assume duties as your personal assistant. <laughs> I'm surprised at you. I can't believe you're the one saying this. Wait. <laughs> I told you I needed a personal assistant quite right. What on earth will I be doing with a weird creature like this? A bushman like this? Your Highness, in this palace, we have enough royal wares that can transform this man to look like one of us, packed in our royal wardrobe. I'm pleading with you not to judge this man in a hurry, based on appearance alone. He is a great man, and I want to leave you with him. You will discover how great he is.
assuming but not conceding that you will be my personal assistant what will you be doing for me the back of a man is the most important part of his body a man sees his front which means he's in charge of what happens in front of him the larger parts of what kills a man come from his back in Imezi, where I come from, men do not joke with their backs. So, when I become your personal assistant, I will do just one noble thing. Watch your back. Why do I have this uncanny feeling that you talk too much? Well, I am sorry if that is the impression you have of me. I have this habit of explaining things in greater details. As the heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom, I am sure you are a very, very busy man. And you have lots of things to occupy your mind. There is a tendency you will forget important things. And so I volunteer to remind you of those important things. But at least you accept the fact that you are a bushman. Well, all men on earth are the same. Because the world was thick bush before development started. By that, are you, by your wildest imagination, believing that you are the same with us? Why are you looking at that portrait like that? You see why I said you're a bushman? Bushman? You've not seen a thing like that before. My prince, you look more noble in real life than you do in that portrait. Meaning? Meaning it is not just an ordinary portrait. The artist deposited particles of witchcraft in that portrait. So, how will you describe this artwork? Your Majesty, this is charcoal on canvas. And if you look at the shedding, the gradation, the way the portrait is positioned, it looks as though the prince is imagined from the background, <laughs> Your Majesty. In fact, this is the very best I have done since ever I started as an artist. Your Majesty, apart from being an artwork, it contains some metaphysical properties that will be protecting the prince. <laughs> hmm. Good. I don't like the artwork. Your Majesty, I don't like. I like the portrait. Oh, thank you, my prince. <laughs> you like? Yes. Well, my son, whose picture you have painted, says he likes it. Can't deny him that. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, my prince. But there is something about that piece of work that I'm not comfortable with. Something strikes me odd. The artist deposited particles of witchcraft in that portrait. What do you mean by that? The man who presented himself as the artist was never the artist. This portrait was created in Eba Kingdom. It passed through a terrible ritual process and the aim is to ensure that men of this kingdom do not grow old. My prince, they will all die once they clock 60. Where do you get all this that you're saying? The only thing that comes to my mind right now is to set this portrait ablaze. But that will not solve our problem. We need something mightier than fire to quench the evil 
that is already looming in this kingdom. I want you to tell me all you know about this evil and how we can stop it. Mm. My prince, am I still a bushman? What do you mean by that? You want to hold me to ransom? Because you've seen what I cannot say. Despite your deep utterances, I still maintain you're a bushman. Mm. My prince, two options. Accept that I'm not a bushman, or you accept that every man on earth is a bushman, including you. Do this, and I will tell you what we must do to solve the problem in this land. The choice is yours, my prince. The man of Imez is going to tell them the secrets if we do nothing. You are the head. What do you want us to do? Right from the beginning, that something was wrong. I knew. Osasua tried so hard to defend his work, but I felt in my bone that something was not right. The same Osasua who presented this work was never the man who did it. This portrait was created in Eba Kingdom by a man named Odalema. Odalema? The same Odalema I banished from this land when we discovered that it was one of the evil ones that were destroying our land. So what is his own in this? Before he left this land, he placed a curse on the land. This curse holds that no man of this land will exceed 60 years of age. And then, he waited for an opportunity to spread the curse. That opportunity came when he was asked to make a portrait of our noble prince. Do you want to say that you're not going to stop this man? He is telling them everything. There is something about this man of Imezi that I don't understand. He is representing something mightier than sorcery. Settle down and figure out what we must do. Well, I believe this man. I believe this man because that is exactly what we felt in this land. I believe him. So, what do we do? The witches you banished are gathered somewhere, and they are monitoring whatever you do here with the use of this fan. I remember this fan was presented by Emma. That was before we discovered that she was one of the evil witches destroying our land. And then we did. seeing what we are not seeing. Can you please tell us what should we do to solve the problem?
this man of Himes came with something that we must settle down and unmask. The fan has been taken care of. The witches are now blind wherever they are. They cannot see what goes on here anymore, but that has not solved the problem. Enenye, Enenye, please, 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 enough of this. We've heard you and we believe you. What can be done to solve the problem of this land permanently? I will tell you. Men of this land must be selected to travel to Eba Kingdom. They should not go to Odalema because Odalema cannot solve the problem. There is a tree in Eba Kingdom named Osisi Kanku. That is where he hung the 60 evil threads that terminate life at 60. These threads must be lowered and set ablaze. And only then will the problems in this land Who are you people? This is our board where we carry out our business. What are you doing here? It is very clear that you want to dare me. It is remarkable that we fought in one side against some enemies who don't even know their background. It means that Asampiti and the Colombia are one. Should we not do something on the strength temple? Oh, come on. I am a goddess and you are the god. Mm. We can do anything, anyway, and sanctify this place when we are living. You. You are the most beautiful goddess that ever lived. And I wonder why I would have you and look as well. You know, I'd always wanted you, but you've been through and avoiding me. <laughs> you. What happened? I thought they are gone. I brought you here to come and work, not to start a deadly romance. It will destroy this kingdom and I'll be held responsible for it. Where did you go? We came together and we fought together. You cannot live without me. Your end has come. It is 
time to leave! We must fortify this temple. Strange forces are winning us in our temple, and it is not good for us. Hmm. <clears throat> well, you are the head of the warriors. So you gather your men together tomorrow and head for Iba. As your majesty, please. No, my prince, there is something I want to ship in. It is established that our bomb in me is a land of warriors. And I know you can always get credible warriors that will embark on the trip with you. But I'm insisting you make demand from Imezi part of that mission. I know why. Wise one. The only thing you know is that the name of the tree is Osise Kankun and that it is located somewhere in Eba Kingdom. If you are asked now to describe the tree, you will be able to describe the tree. And if you are asked to tell us the exact location of the tree in Eba Kingdom, I am very sure you will fumble. If I get to Eba Kingdom, I can trace the tree. You are going to trace the tree by asking indigenous of Iba Kingdom to direct you to the tree. What if you get to Iba Kingdom and you realize that the tree is their sacred tree? Do you think anybody will direct you to it? Okay, what if you get to Iba Kingdom and the tree happens to be a tree that is common everywhere in Iba Kingdom? You will know the very tree we are looking for and you will be confused in the process. I agree with Omesu on this. I do. There is no need for us to make mistakes when there is a man to lead us peacefully. The journey commences tomorrow, and you will take the man from Emezi along with you. I feel wise and messer. knows what is wrong with me. My princess. Are you possibly saying that Wise Omesu used his powers to inflict you with such strange ailments? I never said so. Wise Omesu is too good to do a thing like that. I feel he knows the solution to my problem and how to solve it permanently. But what baffles me is why he has refused to do so. Forgive me, my princess, but I don't think that wise Omesu will know what to do about your ailment and he won't. No. My princess, I have good news for you. My ears are itching to hear the good news. We are right on the verge of unmasking the forces behind your strange ailment. When this happens, you shall be normal again. Where are the forces from? Are they forces from this kingdom? Or forces from another land? The forces actually are firing from Iba kingdom. We are sending men tomorrow to that kingdom to trace a particular tree called Usisi Kampu. I want you to spend this night praying for the men we are sending to succeed in their quest. Has the tree anything to do with my ailment? I don't like the fact that I'm permanently confined in this one room. My princess, Everything shall be over soon. You see, there are certain things that must be set ablaze in Eba Kingdom. And that is why the men are going to trace that tree. Pray that they succeed. Once they succeed, my princess, you shall be normal again.
already told you that you are part of the selected men that will be going to Eba tomorrow morning. Why are you not asleep? Why are you still walking around this palace seeking your door to knock at? As long as you keep calling me a bushman, note that I will not be going to Eba with you. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. I'm only telling you what I will do. I want you to realize that you're just a mere personal assistant imposed on me by wise Omesu. As the crown prince of this kingdom, I'll just send you out of this palace this night. All right. Well, I will not wait for that time. I will leave right away. Goodbye, my prince. Um, and then here. Yeah. And then here, yeah. wait. Wait, wait. I know you're talking tough just because you believe you got us where it matters most. Okay. I agree. I will not call you a bushman again. But I want you to know that you compelled me to say this. We are going to Iba tomorrow. And I will deal with you. Not to worry, my prince. You will have more important things to deal with. And as such, you will not even remember harmless and many and witty. Good night, my prince. As all things have refused to work, the remnants of the seductive power of the Queen of Sheba must work. If the wise ancient king couldn't withstand her charms, who is Ezra Balanze? See something new in you every new day. As he looks at you, the sun and the moon shall rise in your eyes. You are our Queen of Sheba. You are our last hope. Ah! Hmm. If you ask me, I think I, I, I believe the wise one. I listen to him. I think I do believe him. I don't know, but... I bow before the princess of our land. I am not pleased with your greetings. Is it because I am not as strong as I used to be? That is why you will walk into my presence with a total stranger unannounced? I beg you, my princess. Do not crucify the hard-working God. Believe me, he will never do anything to undermine your status as the princess of this great kingdom. 
He is one of the very few people in this kingdom who would lay down their lives for you to live. My princess. Who are you? My name is Eneni Enwite Obonyoko. I came to this kingdom as a helper. I have already assumed duties as the personal assistant to your brother, the prince. I have the blessings of your father, the king. And so you see, it will not be right for you to still address me as a stranger. Has he received my father's blessings as alleged? Yes, my princess. He is here by the express permission of the king. I think he has something to tell you. I'm listening. I need to speak to the princess alone. No, no. I mean, that is not possible. Yes, because there is no way I'm leaving you here with the princess. No, no way. I understand your position as the chief maid in the palace. You want the best for the princess. So do I. Tomorrow we will embark on a journey to Eba Kingdom. The princess has a role to play in our absence. It is not wise for her to remain bedridden as we leave. Are you telling me that you're here to heal the princess? Too many questions. Not good for the ministration. Leave now. Give me your royal chicken. Who are you? How can you possibly ask a princess for her waistband? My mother told me never to listen to anyone that would ask me to remove the waistband. Your mother was never the one who gave you that message. The very submission of the witches of Abomini used her face to make you the gift of the cursed Jigida that has kept you sick all these years. If not for a man like Omesi, you would have long died. He used his powers to keep you alive because he always knew that one day you will be completely healed. That day of good news is finally here. Take off that cursed Jigida. My mother told me never to listen to anyone that would ask me to remove the waistband. That is what you are doing. Like I said before, she was not your mother. The witches used her body to present you that gift because they knew that you will never ever disobey your mother. That cursed Jigida has kept you sick all these years. Take it off. You shall experience the kind of strength you have never, ever experienced in your life. What are you doing here? I thought he asked you to wait on time. Forgive me, my princess. But I have to be here now to tell you that I've always been suspicious of that Jiki Dada that changes color like a million. I've always had these feelings, but I've never had the confidence of telling you. Now that he's here and he has confirmed it that it is evil, please, remove it. Please. You surprise me. Why are you saying this? I will die if I remove the Jigida. My princess, would I gain anything by leading you astray? I do not give life, so I cannot lead anyone to take his or her life. The witches know that you are destined to be a great woman, 
so. They plotted to keep you right here. Break the Jigida and break the curse. Witchcraft is a terrible thing, and I mean terrible. They can use the face of anyone to manipulate anybody they like. They can also appear to be saving you when in truth they are killing you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you are happy, I see. And I am happy that you are happy. My princess, I will take my leave now. <laughs> Oh, I am happy for you. Oh, if I had the courage of questioning this Jigida, you wouldn't have been this sick. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say.
are you proving stubborn to a lady you're seeing for the first time? I came here to see the king, and I wouldn't want you keep me waiting here for so long. I cannot usher you before the throne when the king is not there. Beautiful woman, how can I help you? Take me to the king immediately. As it pleases you. I would have finished you on this journey were it not that I remembered that you helped to heal my sister. The journey is so far, my prince. I suggest we concentrate. Men who have an important mission to save their land should not waste time talking like women. You call me a woman? This mission is already having problems. Abomine! Surely it's under the leadership of a blind king. Where did this insane man come from? Why do you want to sentence yourself to death by calling my own father a blind king? The warriors of Almighty Abomimi are finally traveling to Eba because a stranger told them that the land will be better if they go to burn something at a bar kingdom, this is blindness, my prince. I am disappointed that my land is being ruled by a blind king who can give orders to the warriors because a stranger asked him to do so. Are you a man of Abomimi? This mission is a direct insult on our people. Abomimi should not act based on the information of a stranger. I don't know what just happened. Oh, no, I don't understand what just happened. Do you know? That man may just be one of our ancestors that has come to warn us that we should not have listened to this man. That man is not one of your ancestors. He's not even an ancestor to anybody. That man is an enemy sent by the enemies of your land to thwart this mission. I say, we proceed. You've tried much to convince me that you mean well for our kingdom. But I'm sorry, I still don't believe you. I am sorry, your highness. I think this young man here is not an enemy. We have enough reasons to believe that he's here to save us. In that case, I want him to explain what his interest is in all this. Someone cannot just leave his kingdom and come to our kingdom to save our kingdom. What is he planning to gain? by the services he's rendering. My interest is to break the stronghold of witchcraft in this land. I cannot do this alone. I need the participation of everybody. So I say, it does not make sense we stand here arguing. Let us proceed, my prince.
tell me you don't like what you're seeing. Well, I will be lying if I say I don't like what I'm seeing because I love what I see. You consumed me. From the very first time I set my eyes on you. Well, that is because I'm the king. Well, let me ask you. Don't be in a hurry. My name is Nkiruka. What lies ahead is better and bigger than what we've seen already. I am the lady of the future. If I must stay here with you in the palace, I must know what my duties are. Well, a lot of ladies have tried all their lives to capture my attention and they have never succeeded. It is quite remarkable that you capture my attention upon our very first meeting, which means I see something special in you. Let me ask you, is there anything wrong in you staying here in the palace? As your wife, you mean? Well, what I feel for you is already stronger than what I felt for my ex-wife. I will give you access to my room where you can live with me in peace. I know you are a lady of the future. I want to be part of that future. It's the edge of death. I lifted it from the inner circle of the temple of the lords of the Aborigine. You must target the prince. Mystics will not be accommodated. Once I block the road, you must aim this at the very heart of the prince. When I give down the prince, others will surely come after you. They may even lynch you in the process. So I think. We need more men for this operation. Listen, listen to me, Bianale. In this well thought out operation, we don't need more men. All I need to do is to concentrate. Concentrate here and target the prince and get him down. As for the rest, leave it to me. Okay, I'll handle it. Ah. Well. My joy knows no bounds today. My daughter is back on her feet. A cause for celebration. I am going to throw a big bash of a party soon, as soon as my son returns to the land. <laughs> Please sit, my dear. Thank you, Father. Yes. yes. <sighs> Father, I have no objection to that at all. I'm so happy to be whole again. Anything you want to do to celebrate the fact that I am well again, it's okay by me. That is my princess talking. Yes, yes, we will celebrate. And I've been thinking, yes, and I also, I will get a new wife. Yes, a young, beautiful wife. Yeah. And I want this wife in place already by the time we throw the party for celebration. Um, um, father. Do you think that is the best thing to do? Why not? Well, I know a lot of people might be upset with me for that decision. But, hey, it's the decision I've made. You are the king of Abo Mime. And I know that your word is law. But this issue of getting a new wife, it's, it's just not right. Why? Dad, so many people want you dead. So many would want to ruin the family. And that can only be achieved through the new wife you would want to get. Uh, my princess, you've resolved the issue by saying that I am the king, which I am. 
You do not just get the king by mere wishing you want to get him. No. And about the young girl that's coming in, if she decides to come between my children and I, then I will show her the way out of my palace. <laughs> that promise I can give you. But I will have this young wife in place. All my life, I have so much desire to serve the great people of Abom in me. Who are you? And why do you want to serve the people of Abom in me? Eze Agbalanze is a very, very brave man. You see, witchcraft and sorcery still abound greatly in the kingdoms around here because none of their kings, none! been able to summon the moral audacity to crush this wickedness from the dark. Except Eze Abalanze. <laughs> He's truly, truly a great man. And I love him for that. I don't know why I find it difficult to believe you. enemy of our kingdom came to kill me and one of you saved my life. Who is he that saved the life of the prince? Do you know anything about what just happened? I am just as surprised as everybody. That was a clear attack on your life. And I believe the God saved you. I think we should proceed. It was your machete that killed the man that came to kill me. Can you explain what happened? I don't know what happened. I'm even surprised that my machete is not with me. I'm surprised. That you are looking for the man when you are looking at the man. Are you confirming to me that you saved my life? I saved your life because I want to serve your land. Your death would have brought great sorrow to the kingdom of Abomini. I saved you. Because I don't want to serve a kingdom mourning a promising prince. I like this man. <laughs> I like this man. You want to serve my land? I can tell you here and now that you will serve my land. For traveling to you back kingdom, come with us. My, my prince. Sorry, do you want to take this man along? With all due respect, my prince, I say no. I don't even know why you're still here. But for this man, I would have been a dead man. He's coming with us. And if there is anyone here who is not happy with my decision, the person can go back to Abomimi and wait.
In you lies the mystery of the powers of our body. The secret of our survival and existence is hidden inside you. This is why I always approach you with extra, maximum holiness and humility. Everything is wrong in a bomb. I can tell you that everything is working anti-clockwise in this kingdom. And in a time like this, I want you to make an appearance and show me the way forward. Because I am nothing, I say nothing, without you. Show me the way forward. I humble myself before the messenger masquerade of Omelabo Nabomeme. Aka Luciangene, Ekulungene. That proverb cannot be for me because I have never undermined the powers of Omelabo Nabome. I am here actually because I am confused about the things happening around us. And I have been seeking for directions from great Omelabo Nabome. The Omelabo you came to seek is angry with you. Count yourself lucky that Omelabo is no longer living in the safe. He would have killed you for coming before him. I don't understand what you mean by Omelabo. He's no longer living in this sacred abode of his. And what do you mean by he is angry with me? Why? Oganigwe forced his wife, Nwoku, to leave a bomb, Meme. That noble woman. That noble woman was maltreated for voicing the truth that Oganigwe never wanted to hear. That truth came from Omelabo. The reason was to set the record straight. Nwoku was disgraced out of the land, and the truth was swept under the carpet. I want to ask you, what did you do then? What did you do then? You did nothing. And that negligence has forced Tomelabo to leave this land. I'm surprised that it took you all these years to appear before the Asian safe. Can I tell you that this is unbelievable? This is unbelievable. If Omelabo no longer lives in this ancient city. Where does he live? Pumelabo lives in the forest of Upene. Don't ever go there. Because if you do, you will die. If you want the way forward, then you must send the child Shibo. The woman that was disgraced for being barren now has a son. The Melabo will not kill that son of hers because she's the woman after his heart. 
Let the son of Nwoku trace the forest of Open. And on the level, we show him the way forward. They have traced a tree where the deadly threads are hanging. They have lowered the threads and about to set them ablaze. What would you have me do? Do not bother yourself anymore with the mission to Iba Kingdom. In their life, they can set the entire Iba Kingdom ablaze. Mma has used the face of the beauty of Abanabo to steal the heart of Ezra Balanze. The man has already proposed to her. The destruction of Abomini Kingdom and Ezra Balanze are nearer than we had expected. <laughs> hey, you! I left you to set the threads ablaze because I can't stand the smell of burning threads. Have you finished with that? Can you be gracious enough to tell me what you came to this edge to do? Hush, hush, hush. I'm not answerable to you. I'm only answerable to the prince. And by the way, why are you monitoring my movements and actions? I know the very reason you joined this mission. There is no other reason apart from the fact that I've come to serve the great king, Ambalanze. If you like, don't believe me. You may believe whatever you like. <laughs> That man you made part of us, he is evil. He is a wizard. He has telepathic powers, and he is using those powers to send information of whatever we are doing here to his people somewhere far away from here. I beg you, ask him to leave. Sometimes when I listen to you, I cannot but remember that you are a bush man. Why are you doing everything possible for me to hate someone that saved my life? That man is just an imposter. He was never the one who saved your life. I'm asking you now, who did? My prince, you were saved by the gods. The gods of Abomimi, not that man. That man is evil. His presence is evil and it is affecting us. Please, you must dismiss him now. I cannot dismiss him because I already gave him my word that I'll take him to the king. I've already lowered down the threads of evil you identified. We'll set them up, place and we'll go back to our land. But I want you to prepare your mind, because that man is traveling with us. Evil may be celebrated for quite a while, but it shall never, ever triumph over the truth. The messenger Masquerade told you all that? Yes, Your Majesty. The messenger Masquerade said all this. The only person that can go to Melabo as we speak is the son of Moku. <laughs> Amazing. Are you alright? Moku has no son. She was a barren woman. With all due respect, Your Majesty. The right thing for us to say is that our own Oganiwe was an impotent man. Mezo, how dare you speak evil of the dead? Oganiwe married a barren woman who could not bear me a child. Mokun was not a barren woman. When she was fired from this kingdom, she met a man of Imezi that married her briefly. That man from Imezi did in just one month what our 
Organigo was unable to do in years. He got Moku pregnant and she bore him a son. That son of hers is the only one that can appear before Omelabo and leave. Omezo, where do you get all these stories? Moku is still alive, Your Majesty. She actually wrote me a letter that I still have in my custody. The same visitor from Imezi who saw the revelation. The same man you made part of the delegation to Iba Kingdom. He is the son of Moku. And I can tell you that he remains the only one that can see Omelabo and leave. You. Strange things are happening in the land, my queen. Strange things. Your Majesty, who is this woman? Who is this woman that has the temerity to walk into the throne room and sit right on the legs of the king? Ah. Her name is Nkiruka. Sorry I couldn't tell you because it was urgent. But. I already sent some elders of the land to Abanabo to perfect all the protocols of her bride price. She is my queen. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, Your Majesty. You mean to tell me that you did all that without telling me? Well, it's my life. And it's all about me. But don't you worry. Everything has been perfected down. She now lives with me as my queen. Well, hey, uh, this is Omezu here. He's the only sorcerer we have left here. Uh, we have him because uh, his own witchcraft is positive. He does no evil. But don't worry. You'll get used to him and his holiness in the palace. Oh, for me, sir. this is bothering you. I mean, your father has tried to remain single all these years after the untimely death of your mother. So many men would have been married the very year they buried their wives. But he didn't. He stayed single. If he had decided to, to get another wife for himself now, I think you should be happy. Yes. Something tells me that there is something weird about the woman my father decided to marry with unexplainable urgency. Word. I mean, how do you mean word? When my father was introducing the woman to me, there was that same evil Jigida hanging round her neck. And then the Jigida was changing from one color to the other, right on her neck. I'm sorry, my princess, but do you ever think that such a thing is possible? I mean, a woman with such outstanding beauty and class, she will never wear a, a waistband around her neck, no. It was not in real life. My eyes were open. My inner eyes were open and I was seeing beyond the physical. I strongly believe that she has something to do with that same evil Jigida that kept me down for years. Yes. Your Majesty. I brought you into this strong room where we kept all the powers we inherited from our ancestors. All the powers that make you relevant are here. And I know you will not tell me lies. I am expecting you to tell me the truth. Where did you get that woman? And why were you in such a hurry to detail elders to perfect a bright prize? without even mentioning it to me, Your Majesty. The woman in question is already my queen. 
I am not happy that you have brought me here to discuss her. Your Majesty, I am sorry, but I want to remind you that you were the one that made the declaration alone. But I have reason to believe that you may have been hypnotized. Hypnotized? <laughs> what nonsense. I am the king. Now, how could you have thought someone hypnotized me? By who? You do not look good. What is the problem? Your Majesty, I had a terrible dream last night. All about you. And I'm very bothered. I want us to deal with it. May I hear this dream? Your Majesty, I saw you getting married to a very strange woman with four eyes. Two in the front, two at the back. She was a terrible woman. And you refused to tell anybody where you got such a terrible woman from. Eventually, you were showing her the kind of love you never showed anybody. You never even showed your wife. Ultimately, that strange woman with four eyes destroyed this kingdom because I saw her practically urinating on your head. And, and, I, and I woke up and it was a dream, Your Majesty. <laughs> a dream is business. For I have no woman in my life. The only woman in my life now is my daughter, the princess. And she is sick, which is my concern now. Besides, I will not bring any woman into my life now because such woman will stand between my children and I. Your Majesty, can I take what you just said as a royal promise from the king? Can I? Yes, most definitely. This is the promise I made today, the 20th day of April, 1990. You can hold on to that. Your Majesty, do you still remember the promise you made me on the 20th of April, 1990? Well, whatever promise that was made in 1990 has been overtaken by events. Our name is Nkeruka, which means that which is ahead is bigger and better. Now let's look into the future and stop worrying about what happened in the past. I can never leave you alone. No, uh, no, uh, because the, the sun rises in your eyes. And, and I tell you, I know you are the future of this kingdom. I'm the wise man, Omezu. Ah, uh, Omezu. Oh, yes, uh, Omezu is busy making credible decisions for this kingdom. But, but something I forget sometimes is that he is a sorcerer. I admitted into this palace due to his noble qualities. My king, you sound as if you'll fall out with him someday. No, 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 not at all. His life and my life are tied together. And uh, we, we, there's no possibility of us falling out uh, with one another. You know, uh, but we may disagree here and there with one thing or another. But we almost always immediately come back together and agree. Oh, but I can tell you, Omezu is a noble man of this land. He is. <laughs> <laughs> 